Cristiano Ronaldo quitting United in January and some United players have come out and really said to Mail Sport and has been reported by the Mail Sport in here onto the United Matters channel. Welcome to this channel. Rokani David is my name on the United Matters channel. Smash the like button, comment and share. And if at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Today we are coming in our first tour of the day. And obviously, we are talking Cristiano Ronaldo. We are talking Yapstam expected to join Ten Hag at Manchester United. Remember, Yapstam was really one of those players that really were part of United's team that really won a treble in 1999. Remember that very well, but fell out with Alex Ferguson. And those are two stories we are here to talk about. And more importantly, we are going to digest Ronaldo a lot. That is quitting United in January. And that means United will be in need of another centre forward. Because Ten Hag said, whether Ronaldo goes or stays, he will be in need of another center forward. And guess what? That has not matured. And obviously, we expect something to happen in January if at all Ronaldo leaves. So, let's get into the story reported by Mail Sport. They've told us that Manchester United players still believe that Ronaldo wants out at Old Trafford and expect him to push for a move away in January. Obviously, to me, I've been watching Ronaldo play. His body language shows that the body is here at Manchester United, but the soul is not at Old Trafford, that's it. People might come out and say, especially the sympathizers of Cristiano Ronaldo, that Rokani, you are just having an agenda on Ronaldo, but it's not an agenda on Ronaldo, guys. You see his body language. That's not Ronaldo. That's not Ronaldo. People say that he's not, he's unfit. Guys, you mean it's going to take Ronaldo four months to become fit? Ronaldo returned to Carrington to start training with the club on i think we played our first game on the 7th yes on the 7th of august so ronaldo returned returned to carrington towards the last monday of july that's when he returned now count august september we are going in october you get two months down the road and you think ronaldo is not yet fit the fact is he's known here his soul is not here. The body is here, but he doesn't love to play. You see him. You see him. He only feels he only feels grudged when he doesn't score a goal. That's it. But in the other aspects, he doesn't want to be here. Obviously, the players really have a point in what they are saying, and I really believe in what they are saying in here onto the United Matters channel. Then a source being reported, the Sun from the Sun via Mail Sport. They're telling us that all players loved it when Ronaldo came back to United last season, but they are frustrated he missed preseason. To me, missing preseason wouldn't have been an issue if at all Ronaldo's mind was at United. The fact is, his mind is not at Manchester United. That's it. It's not at United. And even if the players were happy him coming back, that is none of my business because Ronaldo is Ronaldo. That's why in the game of Rio Social they came out and flattered him because a player in the caliber of Ronaldo that was a game was supposed to make a statement. If at all he really wanted to start Manchester United, he would have really worked his ass out and really got United a win. To me, I really believe that Ronaldo was got on the ball close to five times in the 10-yards box area. You get? I think if Ronaldo was really eager and very much dying to make a statement to get back into the starting level of United, he would have done the needful. That's what people don't look at. You get? He would have done the needful. And I really believe that people need to go on and really look at that and say, oh, Rokani really said this. And can we give an eye or attention to detail to it? Because this is the fact. This man doesn't want to be here. He wants to go somewhere else. And I know the chasing of a man who goes by the names of Thomas Tuko, who really hindered his transfer to Chelsea. You get? has really stipulated all of this. Why is this story coming out when Tuko is out and um, and Graham Potter is in here? Because Tony Boyle wanted Ronaldo. He agreed a deal with Ronaldo and his agent, Mendes, at the beginning of July. And that story was broken by Duncan Kossos and confirmed by, um, by David Austin. Even Fabricio came out and confirmed it that Ronaldo's agent and Tony Boyle have really reached an agreement, but it's going to depend on what we call the manager, Thomas Tuko. And Thomas Tuko said, I don't want Ronaldo. And it's rumored that the reason as to why Thomas Tuko was sucked out of Chelsea was because he's not scoring goals, he's losing games, and he failed to sign Ronaldo. 
Now, if you are to be asked, if you are to be asked right about now about a man who goes by the names of Graham Porter, don't you think, don't you think one of the clauses included into the deal of him coming to Chelsea is to find a position for Ronaldo? Don't you think that? Don't you think that? And when you add all these dots, these stories are starting to come through after Graham Porter is a new Chelsea manager and obviously Ronaldo, Ronaldo is a topic now. So, if things can happen, if Ronaldo can cross from Manchester United to Chelsea, you're going to see what he's going to, why he's going to be playing for Chelsea. He's going to be scoring those goals. People say that they never got him, they never got him into the, into, they never created clear-cut chances. I ask them, your claim was always that Ronaldo doesn't get the ball. Now, after getting close to five balls in the 18 yards box area of the opponent, now they are shifting the argument to Ronaldo not being able that players of United not being not being able to create clear cut chances. To me, we believe that most of the goals Ronaldo has scored are not clear cut chances. You get they have chances. They have chances. They have chances. So all the five chances that we believe Ronaldo would have gotten one at least all two at the back of the net in that game of football concerning Rio Sochi, the way he lost by one goal to nil. Then again via the Sun Sports and Mail Sport. This source is telling us that Ronaldo often demands the ball too early in build-up play and it drops deep for the ball. That means when the ball is wide, there is no one in the middle to hit in, into, obviously. This is what people don't understand. When we say that Ronaldo doesn't fit the Ten Hag system, people believe we are here to really banter Ronaldo. You're not here to banter Ronaldo. Why is it that when Martial is leading the line, it's a different case altogether? So, isn't that an indicator that Ronaldo is defying the instructions of the manager deliberately? Don't you think like that? That's what I really think. That's what I really think. So, Ronaldo... Demanding the ball to Ali is defying the instructions of Eric Ten Hag. And all these are coming out because they're being reported from the field of play. And people are saying, these are leak leakages from the dressing room. No, no. Guys, the body language of Ronaldo is being seen in the field of play. He doesn't want to be here. And if at all you believe I'm having an agenda on him, then give me your narration, all version of this, but this man doesn't want to be at Old Trafford. It's the bitter truth, cold, harsh facts that most of you don't want to hear, but this is the fact. Again, the same source via the Sun and Mail Spotters told us that the manager put a lot of work into giving the squad detailed information about what he wanted them to do and how he wanted them to play and how he wanted them to play. Ronaldo is not up to speed and is relying on instinct when he plays. That doesn't work in Ten Hag system. Isn't it what I've just said in the previous tweet that I read and really analyzed and really broke it down? That's what I said. He is out of the system of Ten Hag. And you think, after spending two months with Ten Hag, because two months are almost the same month these players spent in pre-season. I think, is it one month, obviously? From 27th, from 27th June to 27th to 27th July, when Ronaldo came back, they just spent one month. So if at all, the other players took them one month to grasp everything they really knew about the Ten Hag system, how come it's taking Ronaldo close to two months to get into the system of Ten Hag? Ronaldo is one of the Players have known about their football intelligence, talented, good player, and he adapts easily or swiftly to the manager's to the manager's system. To me, I really I think he's doing it intentionally. Twitter tell him, please, can you let me go? And this time round, I think it's going to go from bad to worse because Graham Potter is at Chelsea, and Graham Potter cannot really say no to what Tony Boyle wants, and obviously. Tony Boyle is going to deliver Ronaldo from Manchester United to Chelsea. And that's why it's said that in January, Ronaldo is looking more, more likely to leave United. And to me, I will believe his next destination is going to be Chelsea. And that is Cristiano Ronaldo for you. So, 
He's doing this deliberately. He's doing it deliberately, guys. Then last year on Ronaldo, the same source is telling us that it's clear that the success Manchester United have had this season is from following tactical instructions rather than individual brilliancy they relied on last season. Ronaldo is likely to find himself on the bench again going forward. Have you heard it? Nowadays, even if you're having tainted players, you must have a team. You must have a team. You must have a team. You get? And that team is built by these set of players that you are having following tactical instructions. Individual brilliancy cannot help a team go on and really win season in, season out. Last season, Ronaldo emerged, scored 18 goals, but they help a team to really qualify for the Champions League. No, and remember, Edson Cavani was here in the season of 2021. In the season of 2020, 2021, he scored in the... To By the way, he scored like 18 goals in the entire season, but those goals enabled United to go in and really finish second in the Premier League table. People come out and really underrate Ole Gunnar Solskjaer that there are no fans in the field, but trust me, was social responsible was social responsible for the covid that came in through and ask yourself social had beaten chelsea for nil at old trafford with with stands full you know that very well he went ahead to beat a side which goes by the names of to beat a side which goes by the names of uh, man city at etihad stadium when the stadium was full you get so, to me, I believe that's not the case. It's all about being a team. When you're a team, you find yourself in a situation that you lose and win as a team. But with Ronaldo, he's here for starts and he wants to see himself scoring goals. That's it. That is something that is uncalled for at United. And Eric Ten Hag really is finding it hard, I think, to put the individual brilliance of Ronaldo into his squad. And to me, as I told you way back in the transfer window, that trust me, Ronaldo won't stay at United for long because time is going to come when Ten Hag's requests are hard for Ronaldo to fulfill like you see in here for you. You get the tactical instructions. He is failing to really sink into those tactical instructions of Ten Hag and people are there and they are, and they are expecting to come and really put him put in a, a high performance. Martial is back. And you expect Martial to be benched when he's 100% fit, when Ronaldo, is, when Ronaldo is available? Trust me not. The work that Martial puts in, first and foremost, Ronaldo doesn't play with his back at goal. That's not him. You get? He does not do a hold-up play. So, he doesn't give you what Martial gives you. That's why even you read, we read a story that Eric Ten Hag is ready to put Rashford and make him one of the best number nines because he expects him to score close to 20 goals a season. Meaning that, He's turning off Ronaldo and basing on a man who goes by the names of Rashford. That's it for Ronaldo at Manchester United. He's expected to quit in January. And I really see this as something that is going to happen at Manchester United. Then, let's talk about Yapstam. Yapstam played at Manchester United and was part of the United squad that really won the, twin, the, twin, the, the 1919 the, the, the 1999 treble. And he was asked about United and he said, I never spoke to United. No one called me for any reason. But that's how it is in football. When a new coach arrives, he invites his people who he knows and trusts and who he can help him in certain ways. He was replying to people who were really asking him that, were you contacted by United to become the permanent manager after Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was sacked? He said, I never spoke to United. No one called me. But for Eric Ten Hag, working with him has said, when the new coach, arri when the new coach arrives, he invites his people who he knows and he trusts he he can help him in certain ways obviously <laughs> when you ask me when you ask me on how on how the coaching staff of united is really working i really believe that the defense is looking better but obviously you never know eric ten Hag might be in need of a, def a central sorry of a, a defender a defending coach he had just brought in ben mccarthy from south africa to be the center forward coach at Manchester, or the forward coach. Now he might be in need of a, f a, a, a defender, a defending coach, and maybe Upstam, a legend of Manchester United, can make his stand at Old Trafford again and does the needful to go and bless Carrington under Eric Ten Hag. Then he said, but like I said before, 
United is the club I love. I grew there as a person and as a player. They made me stronger. They made me who I am. I have made history with the club and if they need me, if I can help them in any way, I'm always there. At, I'm, always, I'm always at their service. Meaning that he's a phone call away because he's jobless and I believe adding him at United would be something better because he's an experienced, he has an experienced player. He knows what it is all about. He knows the DNA of United. He can really add a lot of hail to that team of Manchester United because he will tell them that this is how we did it and he can really uplift the spirits again and again. However, Mach Ten Hag is lifting them up. But when you add in McLaren as already there, who was the coach of Yap Stam in 1999 under Alex Ferguson, and you bring in one of the winners of the treble in that team, I think there is no better way of lifting their spirits than doing that. So guys, thank you very much for watching in. Tell me what you think about your reactions of Ronaldo quitting United in January and Yap Stam willing to join Eric Ten Hag if at all he's given a chance. Rock and David is my name. I sign out for now. See you later. Coming back with the Jude Bellingham story that is all over, all over the news. And the United have been hinted on as favorites to sign Jude Bellingham from Borussia Dortmund to Manchester United. Remember, we missed out on him. He came at Carrington, met Alex Ferguson, he met Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in 2019. And he decided to go in for Borussia Dortmund. To me, I really believe that he made a very big decision that has really gone ahead to really help him really thrive in his career. And tonight, they are playing at Man City. That is Borussia Dortmund versus Man City. And obviously, all that and more on to the Rokani Media Football. There is another football channel that really does all of other football teams apart from Manchester United. Guys, sign up for now. See you later. May the Almighty God bless you abundantly. Rokan David is my name. I'm out.